who is going to win the opening round. Lights are out. We're off and racing. Robinson leads into row into turn number one. And one of his that's Wesley Swain running a little bit wide in the middle of the pack there. And they're all through Cafe Corner cleanly. This is where things went a little bit wrong earlier on. And now we hold our breath as they head down towards Stratford Corner. On the outside, Gabriel still in third position, maybe losing a little bit of ground. Still, everyone okay. And uh, the glider pilot's getting a, a bird's eye view of the action as he tries not to crash his plane. Yep. Well, it's not a plane, it's a glider. Anyway, it's change for the lead. Burgoyne Jr. down the inside, gets that job done. Still follows through as well. Dive through Cafe Curve. Well, Rob Robinson went from first to fourth. Then. Well, yeah, he Basically, did. I mean, this is like, he's like, oh dear, and there's a spinner right in front of us. So all 34 drivers still running. And there's number 77. Oh dear, right that's, oh, Bishop. that's Bishop. 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 And that's Lewis Bird who gets taken out. Oh, Lewis Bird's in the middle of the track. He's going to try and get away. Oh, that was lucky. From what I saw, it just looked like Bishop lost the back end of it but let's have a look well he's the white crash helmet coming into the shot there and he, oh he uh, hit the curb he hit and then the got, a, on the inside. He got yeah. a love tap i'm looking at him coming past our commentary box window and uh as fiona mclaughlin takes the lead oh hello still nearly into the tire wall there so we're interested to see how far bishop can come back up through the pack there's harry boy jr passing fiona mclaughlin uh gabriel still there just, See, all you've got to do is talk about the Algerian Anthony Jordan fan club and Robinson's ears prick up and he goes for it. There we go. You're welcome. Less than eight minutes to go. Plus one lap. Nice what? breakaway at the front here. Uh, a Tony Cart that is pulling off the side of the circuit. So, oh, we've uh, oh, what was the oof for? Was that a, a, a move, a change? It was. It, it was, was a, yeah. It yeah, was yeah. a croc snapping its teeth and moving into second place. Yes, it was. Bacon Jr. is now down into fifth place, as still now down into third ish, third and a half. The gap between the top five and sixth position is two and a half seconds, and still now gets spat out by Jocelyn. Very, very different behaviour going into there Ooh, and, uh, and there's two there's carts two. off at oh, Cafe Curve. Mondi Junior Canini uh, getting underway leaving the scene of the crime and number 72 cart. Great job there by the Shannington Marshals to move that cart out of harm's way and the Marshal even having time to uh, put the Vera Tools Vera Tool Rebel banner back into place. Always thinking of the sponsors. Good land. Well okay. done. Then there's a gap back to Cameron Pratt Thompson. 34th to 9th, DJ. Wow. What's all that about? Wow, that is a job in a half, isn't it? There we go. There, uh, on this screen there, there, leading this group is Pratt Thompson, who started stone last. Wow. And he's got uh, Agenbach, Cox and Garford right behind him. Far enough back to maybe take an evasive action. Here we go, game on. McLaughlin begins, begins to bend in the Stratford corner and Robinson's got the inside line. Oh, oh, Robinson, two wheels on the grass coming up towards Bruno's and he doesn't make the move. Here comes Stilp. Look at that. Oh. Well timed there from Stilp. He could see the weakness in yep. uh, Robinson and just thought, I'm going for it. And well timed that was. And uh, now he goes to lead, but he shoots wide at Stratford, and that's going to give the lead back to Leo Robinson. So still outbreaks himself. Oh, Jocelyn now trying to pass Bagoy Jr. 45 seconds to go. Robinson, still McLaughlin, Bagoy Jr., and Jocelyn now in the top five in order. Oh, there we go. This is going to be one heck of a last lap between these Ooh. two. And here comes still. Whoa, that was no cap there, but he made it work. Did still absolutely squeeze that car into that gap. And uh, oh, but now he's back to third, using that curve again, and it's McLaughlin back in front. Now the clock strikes zero. You can barely breathe. It's uh, still McLaughlin. Oh, now still for the inside. What a move from Gabriel Stilp, and Henry Jocelyn comes out in front. I don't Adam and Eve it. I don't think Stilp meant to do that one, and Jocelyn loves it. So uh, here we go then. One more corner to go. Jocelyn out of nowhere will come through. Burgoyne has just taken second <laughs> oh, in the oh. final corner, but Jocelyn oh. will take it. Burgoyne Jr. from Stilp.